When we feel sick, we often don't know what to do. Do I rest at home? Do I go straight to the hospital? As a result, the public is increasingly turning to the internet for self-diagnosis. In fact, three quarters of online health searchers start by typing their symptoms into search engines like Google. However, this often results in confusing information. A plethora of new programs called Symptom Checkers tries to improve this process. Powered by computer algorithms, Symptom Checkers ask users a series of questions about their symptoms. They provide a list of potential diagnoses and advice on whether a user should go for care. Symptom Checkers are offered online or in app stores by a variety of organizations, including the Mayo Clinic, and the United Kingdom's National Health Services website. In theory, symptom checkers have the potential to encourage someone to seek immediate care for situations in which emergent care is required and to encourage someone to rest at home for situations in which home care is appropriate. However, the accuracy of a large sample of symptom checkers has not been previously assessed. Is the information that symptom checkers provide useful for patients? Do they provide the correct diagnosis? Do they provide the right triage advice? We chose to study these questions using clinical vignettes, which are typically used to test medical students and physicians that we inputted into online symptom checkers. This clinical vignette is for appendicitis and suggests going to the emergency room. For our study, we identified 23 symptom checkers and studied their diagnostic performance for 770 evaluations and their triage performance for 532 evaluations. We found that symptom checkers provided users with the correct diagnosis about one-third of the time and with appropriate triage advice approximately half of the time. Obviously, this means that symptom checkers are often wrong. But what does this mean for symptom checker users? Are symptom checkers a replacement for seeing a doctor? No, their performance was not comparable to the clinical accuracy of doctors. Are symptom checkers a replacement for telephone triage lines? Maybe. Their performance in terms of triage was roughly equivalent to these lines, which are used by many primary care practices, and they may even be a more cost-effective alternative. Are symptom checkers a replacement for searching the internet? Yes. Their performance was better than using search engines for self-diagnosis and self-triage. The symptom checkers in this study represent the first generation of such tools. The effect of symptom checkers on how people seek care will depend on how users respond to their advice, which is unknown. This represents an important area for future research.